Hi everyone, this is my Conago Art Deco competition and as you uh, maybe can uh, see, it is the Shimano 105 group. It's a very nice group, but I uh, want to remove it and put a very nice Campagnolo group on it. I'm thinking about a 10 speed, so that would be a, a chorus, maybe record, but uh, record is quite expensive. So I think a chorus would be very nice. Okay, let's continue. So the easy part was to remove uh, both wheels and now I'm going to work my way through. As you can see I am removing the chain but from the back. So when someone else uh, or myself wants to put it back on I can um, do it from the front so it's easier to get the chain back on. So removing the derailleur now and the rest of the parts, that is not the hardest job. Um, what is very important is to put it all together in like a, a box so you won't lose components. Um, I wa will clean them afterwards so they will look very cool. Well, the back derailleur is removed. It was an easy job with the Allen key. And now I'm going to the front derailleur and uh, I have to cut the cable, of course. And for this I have a very handy tool. It's excellent to uh, cut cables and stuff. Really perfect. So the front derailleur is removed. That is a very easy job. As you can see, a lot of dirt and whatever stuff on the bike. So always good to clean it afterwards and well, here you can see all the stuff that go went in there through all the years. So now it's time to remove the bricks, front and rear. Also an Allen key. You only need a few Allen keys. They are not uh, very expensive, but you can do uh, incredibly a lot of work on a bike with them. Okay, let's move on. Well, it sounds simple, but always put the stuff back on where it belongs so you won't have to look for it afterwards. Put it all in a box or a bin to keep it where it belongs. Well, as you can see, the parts are in the bucket with some cleaning fluid, non-aggressive of course, and after a few hours all the dirt will be off the parts and then I can clean them dry. So now another easy thing to do is to remove the bar tape, but in such a manner that I can reuse it, because it's a very nice bar tape from Colnago. Okay, the bar tape is removed and uh, now I'm going to clean the bar and then continue from there. In order to remove the levers, there is a little hole for the Allen key. You have to put the Allen key in there and then um, loosen up the whole thing. Okay folks, time to remove the crank. Before you do this, you need to know if the axle is Italian, Ita or non-Italian, like a BSA English. For this you can easily measure the bottom crank, that is here. If it is 70 width, then it's Ita. If it's 68, it's BSA. It's easy to measure. This means that if it's an ETA, in this case it is, then to um, unloosen the crank on the right side, you need to move to the left. And on the left side, you also need to move to the left. 
because in ETA when you are on a driver's side that is the right side to um, put the crank on tight fix it on it on the crank you need to um, pull to the right to right is to tighten it and on the left side on to tighten it is to move the allen key to the right as well so this is very important because else you are um, trying to get it off and nothing goes and you may be uh, damage the bike which uh, you obviously don't want to so now we need to pull the crank off for this you need a special tool which uh, goes on the crank here the thread and now you have to pull it to the right to remove it here you can see two very important tools the one on the right is the crank puller a very cool thing to have and the one on the left is to get the pedals from the crank and um, without getting scratches on it so very very good stuff to have okay the crank is completely removed now I need to remove the axle and put another Campaniello axle in it and also I need to remove the Shimano 105 headset which I have no idea why uh, so many rings are on them but the previous owner had his own ideas about it I guess okay next step okay then the headset is removed whilst um, looking at the bottom part I see a little number I'm not sure if you can see it it says 26.4 that is the diameter it's always good to know what diameter your bike has um, when you want to buy another headset well as you can see it is a lovely and rainy day I managed to remove all the parts except for the bottom bracket maybe in the next upcoming days it's a very nice frame as you can see it has a few spots I need to work on so I'm giving it a nice clean up and then we will see